again. It's a large thing. Welcome back to another video guys. So it's the beginning of the month which means one thing, monthly sub boxes. So first to land this month is my Vornail box. I have got a huge 25% discount code for Vornail. It'll all be in my description box with a link to the website. Let's go. I do love these monthly boxes. How pretty are these Vornail boxes? Very cute. So, show you quickly on the back, if you want to screenshot that and read it and all the social media. There you go. So, like I always do, I will give you a quick sneak peek and then I'll move it off to the side. Oh, right, no, we're not going to get ooh and ah in just yet. <laughs> so, this is for the solid gel polish instruction manual. So, here's a quick sneak peek. Oh my gosh, right, let's go. Let's start with stickers. Guys, look at these. So these are stickers, but they've got little rhinestones on the ends of the cherries. Aren't they cute? I've never seen that before. I love that. They're really cute and they're tiny as well. That's my pinky. And you would fit one even on my pinky. They're really cute. I like them. And then we've got peaches. I like them. Cute. Right, so I'm getting a fruit vibe. I like these. We've got all the French tip. Then we've got all the little uh, fruit slices. Cool. And this one is like really shimmery white. The stickers are actually shimmery. Like white flowers and petals. Very cute. I like them. And then we have got... Right, I think these are, right, these are little love heart rhinestones, transparent, but I think they are thermal and light, ch yeah, they are. So I've just stuck them in my lamp, and look at that already. They've changed colour, they've all gone pink. Ah, oh, I love them. They changed instantly the minute I put them in the lamp. They're cool. Isn't it cool? I love stuff like that. always mesmerises me. Right, then we have got a little pot of... Oh, I've got loads of these. So these are just like the mocha rhinestones that I use all the time. I love my mocha rhinestones. But these have not got any facets on them. They're just round. I love the colours of these. I love the dark pink and the lighter pink. I use them so much out of my rhinestone collection. Aren't they really, really cute colours? I do like the colours. They're kind of pastel, aren't they? Pastel kind of colours. All different colours and sizes. But yeah, I've already got a pot of these. Right, what is this? Ooh. So it's got an eyeshadow applicator, which makes me think it's some sort of flakies. Ooh, these look pretty. Oh, wow. Look at this stuff. I've just stuck some to my nail because I know it's going to stick. Look at that. Not even put nothing on that and it's stuck already. That is beautiful stuff. Ultra, ultra, ultra fine flakies. Ultra fine. These kind of rub into the nail like it's a chrome powder. Just like it is in the lid. Beautiful stuff. And I haven't got any flakies like that, I don't think. It's like a, a pinky, and I can see a bit of orange and green in there. It's really, really pretty. Really pretty. Some really nice colours in that. Oh, look at these. Right, I'm going to put some in the black tray and some in the white tray. Because this is the kind of rhinestones that will look completely different depending on what colour nail you put them on. Oh wow, right, so that is them in the white tray. Aren't they, oh, aren't they sparkly? So you're kind of getting a greeny, yellowy. But then they've got a little bit of pink to them in the white tray. And then in the black tray, 
they're, they're like purple, blue, completely different in the black tray, aren't they? You would have no idea that they're the same rhinestones, would you? And I love how teeny tiny they are. Look at the size of these teeny tiny little butterflies. Look at the size of them. They are tiny, look. They're a tiny little dot of a thing. Teeny tiny little teardrops type things. Teeny tiny squares. I can't get over how teeny tiny they are. They're so cute. And then we've got some cute little characters here, look. We've got some little froggies, four little froggies, four little pink piglets, aww, and four little chickens. <laughs> they're cute, aren't they? I do like them. And yeah, they're not too big. And they've all got a little shimmer in them. The camera's struggling to pick it up, but they're cute. I like them. What are these? Oh my gosh, are these what I think they are? No, are they? <laughs> I don't know. All oh, right, these are toe separators, aren't they? Do you know what I thought they was? <laughs> I thought they were tip display stands. <laughs> you could use them, I suppose, to put tips on, but no, these are toe separators. They're really nice and soft and squishy. Posh toe separators. Very posh. <laughs> I thought they were tip display stands. <laughs> they do look like tip display stands, to be fair. Posh toe separators. Right, and what's this? Nail art pen. I've not seen one like this before, I don't think. Let's have a look. Art outliners. Right, so we've got the thicker nib there. And by the looks of it, we've got a thinner one. Yeah, and we've got a teeny tiny thinner one there. To do little thin lines. Yeah, and then this is the thicker one. Oh, that one's just as thin. <laughs> it's just as thin, isn't it? <laughs> cool. Alright, let's go. Right, so right. So this is a kind of a pedicure box. I'll show you why in a minute. So we've got the toe separators, and these are like really strong. Toe, toenail clippers aren't they because toenails tend to be a lot thicker and stronger than your fingernails they're cool I like them they do feel really strong as well I like that they're nice and small and dinky cool I like them I actually don't have any um, toe clippers especially for toes I always just use normal nail clippers so I'm glad, I'm glad I've got them. I need some of them. I've never ever tried toenail. These are full cover tips for toenails. This is crazy because my mum was literally just saying to me last week, I was doing her nails. Um, I was just sticking her some little press-ons on. And she said, can you not do my toes? Can you not get these press-ons for toes? And I said, yeah, you can actually. I just don't have any. So that's really cool that these have arrived. <laughs> oh wow, these are so cute. Look at these little itty bitty ones. Oh, I like them. I don't think I could bring myself to record my toes. I don't know. Oh, they're a really nice shape. Oh, they look really good. Oh, I'm tempted. I am going to do my toenails, definitely, but... Whether I'll show them or not, I don't know. I don't know if I'd show them. Would you guys show your toes? Would you guys show your toes online? I don't think I could. But these are really nice. They do look good. I don't know if I could bring myself to show my toes online. Let me know in the comments. Be honest as well. Would you do your toes like online? I don't think I would. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with my feet or my toes. I'd probably show the end result. I'd probably show what they look like once I've finished and they look nice. But I probably wouldn't show what they look like before and the whole process of... Mm, yeah, I'm not sure. 
but they're really really nice shape i like them a lot right let's go so they've provided us some nail tips adhesive gel and this is the upgraded one right i'm not going to open it because i have already got one of these open yeah this is just the nail tips gel like you apply gel x nails with so i would imagine it's to go with them right and we've got another oh this is an ombre brush i was gonna say we've got another gel brush but it's not it's an ombre brush i do like von nail brushes they're nice they're just nice well this is a nice one they're all irregular lengths which is what you need it stops them getting clumped up so much that's a nice one that is a nice one right what is this i've got a few of these little pink boxes it's usually a ring yeah oh it's got cherries on it and it's resizable little love heart with some little cherries on it that's cute look at that oh i like it leave that in there for now i mean look at the little box as well so cute right we have got a magnet we've got one of these magnets that you can do like flowers and stuff with we'll have to see if we've got a magnetic gel in here right and everything else now is gels we'll take a look at them in a minute we've got a box of fruit for you more oh gosh there's everything in there grapes apples kiwi lemon lime and orange strawberries dragon fruit we've even got banana you don't see banana that often do you watermelon strawberries pink grapefruit is that pink grapefruit i think it is isn't it lovely i like that they're all separated like this i've got loads of female but they're all in mixed bags so i can get rid of all them mixed bags now and just keep these oh i like this this is definitely a fruit themed kind of box with some pedicure stuff i like it nice mixture of stuff there love this right let me get all this away because we have got four of their solid gel polishes we have got egg white blooming gel easy ombre marble nail design oh oopsie we'll take a look at that in a minute and we've got a cat eye so let me get rid of all this for a minute and we'll swatch all these right guys so in the solid cream gels today this month we've got glitter peachy white peach honey rock and tomato red and look at this little pot how pretty is that egg white blooming gel easy ombre marble nail design so we'll do that last because i'm not quite sure what that is so we're just going to do these four right i am going to use Varnell, one of Varnell's oval brushes and some of their nail brush cleaner because it would seem I was very lazy last time I used this brush and I haven't cleaned it so to clean your brushes just pat them through let the brush cleaner go through all them bristles just keep wiping it through that brush cleaner like this just keep wiping it through wiping it through and anything in that brush any gel or colors or dirt in between all them bristles it will push it all up to the surface i don't think you can see but there's all bits of bits of glitter and stuff all in there can you see it and then just get a lint free wipe and wipe it off wipe it gently so that you're not pushing it back through them bristles brilliant brilliant brush cleaner this is because it's a gel it just pushes everything up and out i was really happy with this when i got it i've been looking for a decent nail brush cleaner for ages and i finally found it it is a good one so let's get on with it tomato red do you know what i love about these pots as well they peel off easy look at that Right guys, I'm just going to stick some music on and get through all three of these.
Right guys, so that is them four colours. This one just looks like tomato ketchup. The camera's not, um, my lighting is really not that good today. I'm so sorry. But I like it. Going into autumn, aren't we guys? Going into autumn. I like this nude. I love this shimmer. I do like this shimmer. But um, yeah, I think they're very fitting for the time of the month. I really do. And towards the end of August, maybe. Um, yeah, I like them. I do like them and they are nice to use. Guys, look at this. Look at this packaging. Egg white blooming gel, easy ombre marble nail design. Look at this little pot. Oh, look. It's just got a little hole. It's white. Easy ombre marble nail design. Not sure what you do with it, guys. Right, I'm actually, I'm going to clean my brush off very quickly. I've just had a quick look at what we can do. And I'll show you a quick example of this blooming gel. Something very popular that everybody's doing at the minute. Pool nails, pool water trend. And I'm cleaning my brush because I need to get that shimmer out. Right guys, so I'm just going to paint this swatch stick blue. Right, I'm going to cure that in the lamp quickly. Right, and I'm going to put some Vaughn Nails base coat on my palette. And we're going to paint straight over this blue. It's a really nice consistency this this white stuff for this method that we're doing so paint straight over that blue oh this is going to be perfect I could have done with this the other day when I was doing my pool nails couldn't I so just a nice generous layer of the white then we're going to get a dotting tool and we're just going to add dots of the base coat straight in all irregular dots, all in different places. Try not to put them in rows or lines. You want it to be all irregular. That is perfect stuff. Pre-mixed, so you don't have to make your own white. Pre-mixed, perfect consistency. Perfect colour. Ready to go. Look at that. How easy was that? Perfect, easy pool nail. I love it. Oh, that bubble is going to really bug me. See if we can get rid of that bubble. No, I'm going to leave it before I wreck it. Perfect pool nail. I love this stuff. Perfect, ready to go, white, milky, blooming gel. Right, there we go, guys. How easy was that? And it just looks like pool water doesn't it that looks fantastic perfect consistency thickness color transparency everything about it is absolutely perfect for this design right one last thing to swatch is this so this is cat eye sea fairy and it's called seaweed green so that's why this magnet was included i've never had one of these magnets I've always meant to get myself one, but I've never had one, so so this should be fun. Right, let's have a look at it first. Oh, wow. Do you know, these cat eyes all the time, I always prefer them just as a metallic regular gel like that. I do. I think they're beautiful. This is going to be nice for maybe Halloween. Oh, wow. Look at that. Just on its own. Guys, can I just mention as well, these brand new brushes that Vornell's done. Let me see if I can show you. They are the softest, softest brushes, rounded, most comfortablest brushes you could ever use. You can't feel the brush touching the swatch stick. They are nice. Right, let's try and do a little flower. Oh, wow, well, look, kind of, kind of. Let's do another one down here. Oh, wow, it actually does look. 
I'm well excited. <laughs> right, what does this side do? Let's try and do some stems coming off it. Oh, wow. I am well impressed. I'm well impressed. Look at that. First ever attempt. I'm going to cure that. I'm not even going to risk it and mess it up. That just made a perfect little flower and, and stems. <laughs> I'm very easily pleased, guys. Right, guys, so that is all the colours that came in this mum's box. I'm really impressed with this pool, this pool water one. I'm really, really impressed with that blooming gel stuff. It's absolutely perfect stuff. I love it. And this little magnet that made the flowers and the stems. Perfect. <laughs> I love this nude colour and shimmer. Yeah, some really, really fun, fun colours there. Great for going into autumn. Yeah, cool. I love them colours. So, shall we have a quick recap on everything else that came? The rhinestone stickers, I love them. Oh, yeah, and we got the toenail stuff with the... The little toenail uh, full cover tips and the ombre brush. All the little teeny tiny charms and rhinestones. Colour changing ones, rings, fruits, toll separators, marker pen. Oh, and the mylory flaky stuff. I can't wait to use that. Loads and loads of fun goodies again this month. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. I'll leave a direct link to August box in my description box. Don't forget, I've got a massive 25% off for Varnail. I don't think you can use it on the boxes, though, guys. I think it's because the mystery boxes are already heavily discounted, so that's why you can't use my codes on them. But, yeah, anyway, guys, that is it for today. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and hopefully I'll see you all back in my next one. Take care, bye.